Thousands of people are coming to D.C. for a pro-Israel rally. You can expect heightened security in the city. Fencing is already up along the Ma National Mall. And of course, road closures. The red lines around the mall right there, those are the roads that will be closed when you head out in the morning. The areas right there in the white, they could be closed too, depending on the crowds. But traffic near the National Mall, needless to say, it's going to be a nightmare. Our Casey Nolan is there to walk us through the timing of this rally and how city officials are working to keep everyone safe. Casey. Hey, Zo, you're right. Those road closures have already started. Towing of cars that shouldn't be parked where they are. That'll happen in just a few hours from now. Setup is almost complete, and thousands of people are already in town or on their way here for a rally that we rarely see of this size during the week. The, the biggest problem we had was finding enough buses. Uh, to take everyone who wanted to go. Jason Wooliger and more than 1,000 others are traveling overnight from Cleveland in 25 chartered buses to be here in D.C. by dawn Tuesday, where tens of thousands are expected to rally in support of Israel in its ongoing war with Hamas. I lived in Washington uh, during 9-11, and I remember what a terrible day that was. And what Israel went through on October 7th was unimaginable. And so we think it's important that uh, they know that the citizens of the United States stand with them. Organizers will also call for the release of Israeli hostages taken on October 7th and denounce acts of anti-Semitism seen in the weeks since. The spike in the U.S. and in other countries has been unbelievable. We're always looking for ways to make these events as safe and secure as possible. D.C. Homeland Security says one challenge with this event is that rallies of this size are rarely in the middle of the work week. It's a busy work day. Schools are lighting out around that time. So, uh, you know, this is a very busy part of the city down here anyway. And uh, we welcome everybody in and uh, we just hope that everybody can be patient and uh, and take their time as they move about the city tomorrow. In addition to fencing and road closures around the mall, the National Guard will be on hand to assist D.C. police with security. Security is going to be a top priority for the organizers, and I think that I can speak for all of us who are going to be there that we are not going to be intimidated into staying away. Of course, this was not the only perspective we've heard on the mall just today. Earlier, a local group called Win Without War was here set up in this same spot calling for a ceasefire. As for tomorrow's rally, we have all of the road closures on WUSA9.com. So, yeah, if you're not attending tomorrow's rally, it's a good idea to stay away from downtown DC. Casey, thank you.